Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hugo Slavia with me, Biffa. And today is airport day. And don't worry, I heard your comments about not destroying this beautiful beachfront and island here to make our airport. Mr. Svensson said, do not touch the little island. You can make a cozy little resource place there, possibly with trolley buses or the island. Make it look completely artificial on purpose. Make it. Look yeah, OK, I'll get the idea. You don't want me to touch the island. What about? out the dizzy i'm 100 with you on that keep the beach oh that could be used as hugo's house okay maybe we'll try that in the future ken floor i was thinking the same thing butchering the beach when there's acres okay yeah yeah i get it we have plenty of other land that we can use and the spot that i picked out for our new airport in hugo slavia is this piece of land over here we have a square that is spare that we can build in it's going to be tight but i think we can do it uh, we've already got this bypass road that we built up in the last episode we've got access here to the train system of course we have underground metro as well which we can hook into so maybe we'll do a little bit of work with that as well and all of this spot over here is going to be building up bigger and bigger anyway we've got industry over here so you know not spoiling the lovely views of the beach i think that is a great place to pop an airport so just before we dive into that a word from our sponsor who this time is actually me so i'd like to introduce you to my new website bifferplays.com where you can get some limited edition alien rock park framed artwork for three weeks only go and check those out we've got the iconic b collection lots of different colors here in the t-shirts and caps and bags so that is worth checking out as well cool beans mug a popular one and if you wish you can pre-order city skylines too using my instant gaming affiliate link so have a look let me know what you think okay well that's all very exciting isn't it but back to the game so the first thing we need to do is clear out some space and i'm probably going to utilize both sides of the river here because otherwise we're just left with this strip for those of you that didn't see the last episode we've unlocked all the way up to 25 squares in line with the remastered version that you get on the console so that's what you've allowed me to do as we're in vanilla um so first of all i need to paint a zone in here and that's going to flatten all of this out let's go for the large size and also remove the trees i think and i think if we just sort of do it from here and go like that yeah that's going to be good unfortunately it's going to remove a lot of those items as well let me do this and we'll see what we've got left afterwards there we go nice and flat that is looking excellent it named it the forest airport there was a forest here before but i'm going to change this name to the kelly airport because kelly was the first person to purchase one of each of the red and the blue limited time limited edition alien park artwork framed artworks uh, that are on my website so thank you very much for your nice comment as well i appreciate that right let's get some of the roads worked out up here that we want so i'm thinking we're just going to branch off from this bypass that cuts through here and go down this way Even if we have a look at the terrain it is pretty flat all the way through here so i'm just thinking if we sort of bring this down this way what i would like to do yeah, at some point we were going to sort of flatten this out a bit, weren't we? Because we're sort of going up and over this hill. But I'd like this road here, let's just pause, to be the main road through. And then we'll have this as one that branches off. Oh, I'll tell you what, I missed the way of building roads in, uh, in City Skylines 2. When you're connecting it up like that, you can sort of drag it further. And it, there we go, it helps to ease any sort of issues and things you've got is that gonna be all right branch or not now that is a bit of a hill i tell you what just for now as we're concentrating on the airport i'm just going to sort of do that and that can shoot off up there there's no yeah we'll leave that running that's fine we'll deal with that later right so we've got our road that comes in we've got rail access that's good so let us start plopping some things down i've left that there just in case we can make some sort of feature of that but we'll see what do we have to do first so we've got access to all of our terminals and that is basically you have to put a terminal down first i am going to actually put down a rural road first and we're going to see if we can make something interesting here i'm just going to use the edge of the squares here to mark out where i want my two runways to go um that is going to go there like so and then we're going to bring this over here and then the other one is going to be sort of near the water 
and sort of come down this way. So that's 90 degrees to each other, which is what, which is what I want to do, is what I'm trying to say. Um, we're then going to bring this down here, and that's going to give us a nice spot to build maybe our terminal area from. There we go. And then out of here, um, let's see, I'm just going to mark... I'm just going to sort of make this up as I go along and see what I would like is like a curved sort of slope coming around here. So I think we might need some markers. So I'm going to go... How long is that one there? 600. There we go. Excellent. And see what happens if we do something like this. If I go to the first mark and then go up to there to the dot, then that gives me something that we can definitely line up to there we go ah oh, excellent that gives me a perfect curve which is just what we want and then if we take out that one and that one there we go can we fit in here one of these i do like the ultra modern let's just have a look at these if we turn off that so the ultra modern looks pretty good you've got the two-story one yeah, and then we've also got the modern two-story, which I think we've used before, and then we've got, like, the classic one. Let's go for the ultra-modern and see how that looks. That is not going to fit in there very well. We might need to just make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Excellent. A little bit more space. Um, so I'm thinking I want to get that right in the middle there. There we go. And then I want another one. Oh, we've unlocked something. Fantastic. Wonder what was going on there. So hangars, control towers. We have got the works. Small part planes, bus station. Excellent. So we've got lots to keep us busy with. I'm hoping we can like pop one in there as well. Excellent. And now we have the ultra modern stuff. I'm going to click this button here. Ultra modern style. And that gives us what we've got to work with. So let me just change i don't think you can upgrade these can you no you can't so let me just join these up yeah no idea why i was trying to upgrade the rows that wouldn't have helped at all with it but there we go um right so let's try and join these up i am i'm pretty sure we don't actually get these bus lanes these exact ones in the game so what have we got here? Ah, highway bus lane only. That is about the nearest we're going to get, I think, for three-lane roads. Because these are all small pedestrian roads and stuff like that. Oh, three-lane one-way road with bus lanes. There we go. That is what we want. So if I can do this. Oh, nice. And then we can get... Uh, this is going to be difficult. We're going to get all of these lined up. Excellent. That is what we want. And then we've got to connect these up to the roads in a moment. So ideally, we want the road coming up the middle here uh, let's get that back to ground level so if we use one of these i want to get this going out straight how am i going to do that so if i go from there and sort of go backwards like that i think that's coming out straight isn't it and then this is where we want our road to come into um but also i'm going to use uh, let's just draw that out as a bit of a marker to put this up against i want to use the biggest most exciting metro plaza thing that we can and that is this one now is that going to be facing in the right way so we've got three and three going this direction which is good because eventually we are going to expand all the way out to there but i would actually like it i think facing the other way so let us line that up and pop a road if we can right up against the side there whoops let's try that again well, I think it's going to be sort of like that. Yep, and then we can turn this around the other way. Isn't this square? I thought I could put this in facing up against this side road here. Maybe not. Let's try that again. Yep, there we go. Excellent. It's not as square as I thought. Is that in the middle? It looks to me to be almost in the middle. Yeah, that is about as close to the middle as we're going to get for this. I'm hoping that road is still in the middle. I think it is. Uh, the three lines are facing the different directions, but we can work with that. Brilliant. Right. OK, so this is where everybody's going to be coming in. Um, I'm going to make this. Let's have a think now. So if we use the three lane one way roads coming in here, we can make this hoping i can upgrade all of these no that's not gonna let me if i delete that is this still close enough to the road i think it is excellent so we're gonna have this going around here 
There we go. And then we'll connect that through there as well. So we've got like a little square of that for dropping people off, which is great. There we go. And then coming in and out of here, we want these two to connect up and join up with this road i think she's only yeah four lanes so we've got extra lanes i put three in because of this but yeah we can change that as we go along good 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 right so at the minute we've only got small aircraft stands and we're hoping we can pop all of these in here so what i'm going to do is try and line that up with the middle and then get as close as i can as we go round with any others without sort of overlapping them too much actually do you know what i might do i might just leave a gap there if we get in the middle of this and then go either side and get that yeah if i go like that and go like that i think that leaves enough space to make it realistic and then we'll do the same over here as well There we go, excellent. So that should keep all of that lined up. And then, oh, actually, we've got the roads in here, haven't we? So this is our taxiway. So which way are we going to have them coming in and going out? I think coming in... Let's do it the same as the roads. Coming in here and going out there, I think, will work. So let me see. If I knock an end off there and then extend this one out and delete all of the middle section... I'm going to extend that one out right to the end and then delete all of this. Yep, yeah, up to there. And then we can go for our runway and I should be able to connect that up. No, can I line that up? Where's all of my line it up things? If I put all of those on, is that going to then... Yes, there we go. So I get as close as we can. There we go. So we're going to have in that way. Then I'm going to do the same the other direction, although this has ended up being... A different length i was thinking about having them different lengths but now i'm thinking about having them exactly the same length and there we go we've got the one on the other side as well excellent so where they come in here um let's just delete this road here for a moment as these are all just for giving us our right angles and stuff excellent i'm really hoping i can connect all of these up with no issue Well, hang on. Yep, there we go. Excellent. So then we can join in this way and out the other way. Uh, just want to remember um, this one here. So we want it to come in here. Now, this will be a bit of marking out. How are we going to do this? So thinking about the length of the wings of the vehicles that we've got, I think if we just sort of bring that down like that and go into there that should be okay and then this should be the same distance over here as well yeah there we go excellent so then i'm sort of thinking if i can just get this to go straight in at an angle that would have been great can i sort of finagle that a bit so if i go to like there can i then connect that up to there oh for the want of an anarchy mod that would just be great okay so how about if i get that like as close as we can and then just sort of bend that a bit oh man this isn't gonna this isn't gonna connect up the way i want it to um okay i'll tell you what we're gonna do then we're gonna do this slightly differently we're gonna put in a secondary connection here So I think we're pretty much ready just to hook this thing up and get it running. Um, I'm assuming it's going to need water and all that good stuff and electricity. Yeah, let me do that and oh, also get this road across. <laughs> Otherwise, nobody's getting in and out of here, are they? Um, let's just bring that through here. How is the height looking? Yeah, we're going to have to sort of go up and over on this one. There we go so that road is connected over here i've just downgraded all of this to two lane uh, which is good put some trees on there so then we just need to connect this up to here and i'm thinking we're just going to sort of branch off maybe and loop in around the back um <laughs> not quite sure how we're going to do this <laughs> let me just that was a weird noise wasn't it uh let me just see what we can do here
there we go that is the road hooked up as well it's starting to look like a weird shaped heart isn't it in the middle there but yeah that works well um so basically i'm gonna get the pan and the water in and then I think we're going to see some people flying in. Oh, there we go. And literally the second that I put the power on, there's all of these planes ready to fly out. Let's just make sure they're all going to get past here. Okay, let's just speed that up a bit. Watch out for the stick on the road. Yeah, that's wide enough, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. And it's good to see that they're all heading sort of behind me or to my left which means they're going away from the city, which is really good. And then hopefully when they're coming into land, it'll be, oh, look at them all in the sky. It's going to be the same. They'll be coming down here, not flying necessarily over the city. Right, okay. So let's hook up some of the other stuff that we need. So let us remove, come on. Thank you very much for that in there. I'd like some sort of park in there that we could jump across the power. What other options do we get in here for beautification? I know we get some stuff. So we get... A budget airport hotel, which I definitely think we want in the middle here, which it's probably not going to let me do. So I'm going to put two in. I'm going to have one there and one there. Excellent. Why are you complaining about sewage and stuff? I've literally hooked you all up with the water. We should have no problem with all of that. Oh, sewage treatment is extremely low. Oh, well, that probably explains it then. Um, where is my sewage treatment? It's been so long since i've done anything with it oh it's all the way over here in our industry area okay we could probably add yeah let's have another one or two of these on in here what am i what am i picking i'm picking the humongous great big things that aren't the things that we're looking for one two there we go that should take care of that and the graph jumps up excellent right okay Good. So that's all happy. Power's all jumping across. This isn't hooked up yet. We will get to that. What other beautification options do we get? So we've got a lot of stuff we can sort of use for design in here. I would like to add on a couple of ultra modern control towers. Um, they have to go one side or the other. So if we get it right up to the edge there and there, that should be okay, not interfering with anything. In the central section here, we're going to have a lot of this other stuff. We've also now got these, the small airport apron. So we can sort of come in here and put some concrete over some of these little gaps that we've got around the place. One there and one there. They can also be used in, used in other spots as well. And then we are going to hook into the train line at some point. We'll probably have a line come up here. So we're going to be rejigging this road, I would imagine, at some point. But for now, we'll leave it as it is. And then the next thing we want to do is our metro. Uh, yes, our metro. That's this one here. And get that hooked up in our city. So I'm thinking we could use some of these lines and bend them around. We've got this one here which hooks up where does that green line go that green line goes all the way over to here so i think let's do this one so what we're going to do now is grab our line let's just pause the game a sec we're going to extend that line all the way down to there very good and then we're going to add some stops onto that one which line is that? We're going to just rename that as well. So that's Ivan to Swannel. So that was Ivan. We're going to rename that now Kelly to Swannel as that's been extended. There we go. Excellent. And what have we got on here? We've got a very small metro. I'm thinking we're going to get one of our Airport Express metros. They go a little bit quicker. And it's got a slightly bigger capacity. So we'll see how that goes. And what I'm also thinking is about connecting this in the other direction as well. So it might just be that this ends up being a loop. So if we connect here, can I go underground? Thank you. I had that set to underground. It's not doing it. I tell you what, we'll do it from over this way. I want to connect it up to here. This is where the green line goes round. What? What do you mean you're not letting me connect there? It's all underground. Why is this a problem? Okay, so you can let me you can let me come out of there that way. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Excellent. So now if we take this one here, we can bring that all the way around and hook that up in a big loop. Am I going to be able to drag that round and connect it up? Let's have a look. 
No, it's going to want to go the other way. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? This is where waypoints would come in very handy. We could pop a little waypoint here. So that means I'm probably going to just have to add, at the minute, a station that is going to be unused in the middle of nowhere. There we go. We've got a station there. So now, hopefully, if I drag that to here... Is it still, it's still not going to go around, is it? No, I'm going to have to add these stops in manually. Okay, let me just do that. And there we go. We've got this one. Excellent. And then back to over here. So that is now a clockwise and a counterclockwise loop. There we go. So that one is the Ivan to Swannel counterclockwise. And this one is the Ivan to Swannel clockwise. Fantastic. And we'll give both of those the Airport Express Metro. And that takes in... Uh, a huge area. I was just wondering how many trains that was going to give us. Uh, four on each. Yeah, that will do. Yeah, so that takes in dropping people off over here at Ivan Square, all the way through here to I Don't Careville, all the way through here to near our Swan Hall campus of Yugoslavia. And then that will also take in whatever we end up building over here around the lakes as well, which will be great. So hopefully even though this one here isn't hooked up to power or work or anything that should start bringing people in fantastic right so before we get decorating and adding more things utilizing the train line as well let's just take a look at what we need to do to get this up to the next level attractiveness fantastic passenger count is what we're working on here so policies hotel discounts 200 points to the airport attractiveness 20 pound a passenger so we don't need the extra attractiveness to come there add a land value bonus to the whole airport uh we don't really need to do that and car rentals tourists are more likely to use cars which may increase traffic adds income so i think to be honest with all of that we are just going to leave it as it is and we have our first plane coming into land with 42 passengers which is brilliant you're coming past the old works there we'll get rid of that little rock but i think we'll leave all of that make it something to look nice and here we go dropping everybody off at the concourse unloading of all the luggage yay all the tourists coming in excellent and i'm wondering whether are they going to walk all the way around here to get onto there they probably not we could probably do with adding some paths and things in so let's just do that when the game decides to let me get to that screen excellent we're going to add some nice ones here like so and we'll get those right up against there how close can i get brilliant that is where i want to be for some reason this one you don't allow it how dare you all right i'll just do it myself oh is that because i should be in this one there is a bit of a gap there's a bit more of a gap there okay yeah thank you game that just does not look even does it is it like a, it's a slightly different hotel on that side isn't it it's thicker on that side than it is on that side well that's the way it is it looks like they're all taking their cars, which is okay. Uh, what I do want to do is grab one of these. Can I not add that in here? Oh, no way. I thought these could be used anywhere. Oh, they can be used there, but it can't be used there to add some more concrete underneath that item. But it could be used against this road here. Now, that is weird, isn't it? That it won't allow me to do that. Oh, well, never mind. We'll just go with that. That's fine. So they're all jumping in their cars at the moment. There they all go probably because there was no easy way to get over to the metro but now we have the metro available you should be able to do that so let's have a look what did we need 500 we are almost there one more plane i think should do it there we go excellent level two so we get hangars we get luxury airport we get some more concourses and things uh, the ultra modern what did we get there oh we get this nice looking one and that big concourse hub as well which is great. Medium planes, airport lounge, all sorts of stuff going on. So, yeah, really need to beef up the attractiveness um, once we do that. So, I'd like to add something up the end here as well. Let me see how we can do that. Well, I'd like to use the ultra modern concourse uh, that we've got down here, which has also got a metro. So, we can then help people get from this area up to this area. That makes more sense to me. I'm just wondering if we could just delete some of these. Oh, this is going to have to be an eyeball it type moment, isn't it? To get this to line up straight. I'm hoping. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that there and get the metro level with the dashes. Because we know all of our roads are square. 
There we go. And then I'm going to pop that on there. And I think that is going to be okay. And then we take our concourse. That snaps to the middle. And I've got this little marker out here. So if we go out to that marker and then go as close as we can to that marker, I think that is going to give me the square that we want. So let me just repeat that. The, squ the square? That's not a square. Obviously, I need some more sip of tea. And look at that. We've got an auto save coming in. A curve is the word I'm looking for. Let me just put that on the other side. Well, well, well. It looks like as much as I've been measuring everything all the way along here, that this is not even. That is in the center there. But uh, it seems to be a bigger gap on this side than there is on this side, which is a bit of a pain. But I tell you what we're going to do is we are going to roll with the asymmetrical look. So we can have a bend on that side. This side, we're going to go full on straight. And we're just going to say that's the way it is. And no one's going to know any different. And that'll be fine. Good. Yep. Yeah, don't tell anybody. Nobody will know. Uh, right. So let us hook up uh, our Metro Underground. So that is going to hook up. Oh, look at that. We've got all of these going spare here. That is going to hook up to this middle one. There we go, very nice. Then we're going to have a line going from there to here. <laughs> I thought it wasn't going to let me do it there. And back again. So we're just going to call that our airport shuttle. I think we just add in the smallest capacity metro. I did change that line <laughs> name, but it's gone back again. Nope, that's not how you spell shuttle. There you go, Kelly Airport shuttle. Excellent. So then how many are we going to get on there? Two is perfectly fine. Brilliant. So that should start bringing people out to there. So I think while, did that, while all that's going on, I need to do a little bit of work in the middle here. Get some of these larger, what have we got now? Medium size aircraft stands in this area and see what we can do. Oh, look at that. Just while I'm decorating, we've hit the, enter uh, not the entertainment, the attractiveness value that's taken us up to level three. So now we've got, oh, park cargo. Oh, we've got the cargo stuff that's been opened and the airline headquarters building. So airport train station, cargo airport terminal, airport cargo train station. I want to try and get these in if we can. And you can see what I've just been adding. We need to get some more water in here, but... Yeah, I saw somebody do this with the uh, dirt or the gravel path, just to sort of put that around the little areas like this. Just adds a little something and looks quite nice. I quite like it. So let's have a look at the airport train station. That is going to have to hook on to one of these uh, somewhere. I don't think we're going to have the room down here. And this is where our train line is, unfortunately. <laughs> ah, have I left myself enough room? to get that maybe we could have mm, 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 mm. could we have now if trains are coming in this direction we could have them come underneath here i'm trying to think if we could like squeeze it down the side here and if they were coming from this direction we'd have to have like a crossover point and they come through that's going to make it very complicated isn't it unless we do like another little junction like this over here and bring it in this way which is going to like go completely <laughs> off the where they're taking off and landing right across there. That would be very interesting, wouldn't it? And not quite sure I'd like to ride in a train that does that. We could go underground, of course. 
we could buy more squares but we're not doing that at the moment let's just see what we can do so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take the height of this which is the same height as that i'm going to take the height there there we go right click there and i'm going to bring that right to the edge and then we're going to do that here as well so that's yeah that's level all the way across there which is good we're going to bring that from one side to the other and i want to try and make it straight if we can at a 90 degree why isn't that giving me there we go that's what i want so if we go to there and straight across excellent we know that's straight i'm doing my best to not lose all of my markers i put out with the uh with the gravel roads here so if i bring that one what is this oh it's a path oh completely the wrong thing okay let's grab a wall road oh got to get that one in there we go and then if i delete this there we go we've still got our markers to get things lined up this could hook into there and then i think that is going to come and hook down in here somewhere i've got a sneaky feeling that this one isn't going to hook in over here oh look at that i was right because of the flipping square at the end okay i'll tell you what we're going to do then is we're going to see we can just bring that in a little bit sooner there we go yeah there we go that's going to get busy but i think we're going to be okay and that's at least going to bring people in there so now if you look at our train lines what options have we got here so we could run a train line there we've got yes we've got this green train line that comes in here we're going to drag that one all the way down to there let's just pause the game while we do this that's going to go back then we need to add some stops in Cannot find path. Cannot find path. What? Add a stop. I want to stop it in both directions. Why is it only letting me grab? Add a stop. Oh, there we go. That's the two stops. I know it's going to get busy there, but we'll just have to go with that at the moment. Excellent. So now we get trains in. Let me get all the water in that we need for everybody. Again. So that was the bullet train going from Ivan to Smith. So that is now going to be... Kelly to Smith. We've got six vehicles. Uh, sorry, two vehicles, six stops. I'm just wondering whether I'm going to add a third to that. And I'm hoping that more people are now going to use that now that it's coming from all the way up there to all the way down here and stopping on the way, question mark. Um, I just want to make sure. Yeah, that's trained. I just want to make sure it is stopping on the way. So we've got stops there. Then it comes down this way. Oh, it's like it is a bullet train from one end to the other, isn't it? With no other stations. And then all the way over to here. Hmm. Okay. Well, as we expand that more, that might get used a bit more. I wonder whether we could add another station in the middle, you know. Like round to here somewhere. But we've got metro and stuff as well. Let's just, let's just go with that. Oh, there we go. First one that turned up. Probably got no people on it. Oh, 12 passengers on it. Okay, fair enough. That's good. So for the cargo stuff, I want that totally separate. That is going to be down here, which means we are going to have to sort of monkey around with this rail a bit and give access to all of this down here. So let's just paint some things out. That's not what I want. I want one of these. So that comes down here another 2070, and we'll turn that around. Boink, 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 and boink. So they can get down there, and then we'll do this one at the same. Ooh, we're going to cut the power, so I'll just pause that a sec. 2070, there we go. That's all right going that way. We will sort the power out to be a little bit more, boink, less nasty. And then we can put some of this cargo stuff in here. So what have we got access to? We've got the train station. So that's what we want to get up. Has that got to go? Builder must be placed roadside. Oh, okay. That's fine. Cargo airport terminal. That's what I'm thinking of. So that's going to have to hook into this somehow. Um, I can't remember what, <laughs> what this looks like. Let's just place it down and have a look. Oh, okay. So we've got the roads there. And then we've got roads here. And then we've got the stands for the... Yes, that's right, isn't it? Then the, oh, It's been so long since I've done one of these. The aircraft stands go here and here, and then they connect off. Okay, good. So we could fit it into this and then have access off of this road with some sort of junction, and then the road's going to have to go up and over all of this, isn't it? Okay. 
Let me delete all of this. Let me do some lining up and see what we can do. Okay, there we go. We've got this all hooked up here. This road now goes underneath and back up again. And um, we also need to get our railway run in, uh, one in here, don't we? Which I completely forgot about. Um, airport cargo train station. So that just needs to go up against the road and then hooked into the rail. Darn it. Um, where are we going to put this darn thing? Let's have to go a little. I think we're going to go up at an angle over here. Yeah, let's do something a bit different here. We're going to grab this one. We're going to take that out to there. There we go. And then we'll grab this and put that as far up here as possible. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. So it's not really in the sort of path of everybody taking off and landing too much. You know, we'll sort of go with that. Put that up to the end. Very good. And then we need to get our railway lines and our road connected. Now, what I was going to do with the road, let me just do that first, because then that might change, actually, how we've got this going. Um, I don't have the ability to lock and unlock these roads on here, so we're going to have to go with what the direction is of these. 280, and I'm going to go down here, and we're going to have one go in the other direction like that. There we go. Done it. Fixed it. Good. And then I want some roads coming off of here that are then going to lead up to there. So I'm thinking we're going to sort of line some of these up. Um, let's have a look. And then I'm going to bring another one back down here and just try and keep these two roads separate. That is a lot of lanes, isn't it? I'm just wondering whether we should downgrade this to two lanes instead. I think that is probably going to be enough. Yeah, that ain't going to work. Let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. That'll work for the roads. Quite like the look of that. And then, of course, it's the train line, which is going to be uh, really fun trying to hook that up. So we do actually get two separate lines coming out of here. So I'm thinking we are definitely going to make this a one-way loop or two going through here. If I can do it without them hooking up. Okay, I'll have to go a little bit further. There we go. Excellent. Right, so that is going to have to go... Yeah, I don't know how we're going to get all of this to hook up in three different directions. Hmm. Aha, there we go. So if we just bring this down to here, and then I'm thinking we're going to lose some of these weird houses that are here. And then we can just add some nice smoothie smoothie things like this. And hopefully we go like that on there and the same on the other side. And that should, so it was there, one along, so that'll be this one. And then in, there we go. And then we'll just connect those two up. And I think that'll be that. Yeah, there we go. So if you're coming from this direction, you can't get up there. So <laughs> we need one of these to go this way. Oh, man, I really need anarchy. I really need anarchy. So if we're going to go like that. Then we can go like that. Excellent. So if you're coming from this direction, you can go in and go up there, turn around, come out, and then all we need now is be able to go from this direction in the other direction, which we can't do because I've just put this there. 
right, this might be one of the worst junctions I've ever put together here, but if it works, then uh, fair enough. So you can come up this way, branch off, you can go through there, you can go around there and then go where you like. You can come up this way, branch off down here, go up and come out. When you're coming out, you can go down there and go that direction, or you can come down there and go that direction. The only place that you can't get into all of this is from this direction down here. And I am wondering whether we could just have a little connection down here to bring that in. Oh, what would, what, how, how would that work? If I went round like this and then in, it's going to mess up my shapes and everything. Do you know what? I think we're just going to have it going from those directions and then we'll see whether we want to add that in afterwards. We could just sort of actually, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to do this down here. There we go. We get a slow turn going around there, but that means that then hooks up that. They can go there, go up. They can go out. And the only thing they can't do is leave back in the direction they came. So if they're coming down there, they scooch across there. We need, can I even fit? A very tiny curve <laughs> around here. Oh my goodness. I can. Is that actually going to work? It is. It's going to mean trains are going to be going super slow. But I think that's going to be okay. And that is just hooked up the whole thing. Wow. Is that just a complete and utter nightmare? Or do you think that is really good? I don't know. These Some of these probably need to be one way. But I'll worry about that off camera. I'm liking the way that has gone. Oh, there we go. Our first cargo train is coming in and loading up. Fantastic. Let's see how they navigate what is going to have some sort of funny name attached to it because this junction is so hilarious. Are they going to go around the... They're going to go around the bend. They've managed to do it. It's all working. Brilliant. So then it's just waiting to see if any planes turn up. Now the cargo is being dropped off in here. And, wow, oh man, that needs a lot of decorating. But, oh, I'm just so pleased that this is working so well. Hopefully, alleviating a lot of the traffic that we've had because of cargo getting in our city via roads. Well, let me know what you think about our airport. We're going to have a live stream, I think, soon doing some decorating and stuff. And, yeah, be sure to be here for the next video, which hopefully will be a City Skylines 2 video. Ah, we shall see. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.